We'll start with a quick um, warm up. So if you come to the center of your mat or the front of your mat, wherever you are, um, or even on the floor, you don't necessarily need a mat for this one. And just find yourself in Sadasana. We're just going to start by rolling the shoulders back and down, maybe a few times backwards. And then switch directions and go a few times forwards. From here, we're going to come back to centre. Inhale as you lift one arm up, reaching up tall. Exhale, reach all the way over to the opposite side. Inhale back to centre, switching over the arms. Exhale, reach over to the other side. We're just going to do three of these, moving with your own breath, in your own time, really opening up that side body. Starting to get the spine moving. One more each way. And then from here, come all the way back to centre. Take the arms out wide and then you're going to wrap the arms around the body as you twist to look behind. Just let the hands fall wherever they naturally land, roughly the top of your shoulder and your lower back. Think about lifting and lengthening as you come through that midline. One more twist each way. And then come all the way back to centre. We're going to soften our knees and come down into a forward fold. So you're going to inhale as you lift the hands up, find that length. And then exhale as you come all the way down into that Uttanasana forward fold. Think about chummy to thighs, head to the crown of the head towards the floor. And then take opposite hands, opposite elbow for that ragdoll variation. And you can just swing from side to side, focus on opening up that lower back, getting into the hips, the glutes, the hamstrings. Take a few deep breaths. Exhale. And then release the hands to the floor. From here, you're going to walk the feet all the way back to your down facing dog position. Paddle out the feet. Open up the backs of the calves, the hamstrings, the ankles, and of course the toes. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then we're going to take the left foot outside of the left hand. From here, option to drop the back knee to the floor. You can lift and twist your left hand now up towards the ceiling. And then exhale as you take that elbow toward the floor. Tap the floor if you can. Replace the hand, step back to down facing dog. Switch sides. So right foot outside of right hand. Inhale to lift and reach. Exhale, elbow toward the floor. Replace the hand, step back to down facing dog. Walk the hands all the way to the back of the mat. Find your Uttanasana forward fold. Heel toe your feet out to the edges of the mat. Find your squat stance. Inhale as you lift all the way up. Palms together at the top. Exhale, come down into the bottom of your garden pose. We're just going to take five pulses at the bottom of that squat, wherever you are. And then when you're ready, we're going to inhale as we come all the way back up. Exhale to come down into the squat again. One more time. Inhale to lift all the way up. Exhale to come back down. Replace the hands to the floor. Heel toe the feet back underneath the hips. And then walk the hands all the way to the front of the mat. Find your plank position. And we'll take a vinyasa. So option to drop the knees. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Or sphinx is also an option. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. We're going to do that sequence two more times. So left foot outside of left hand. Inhale, lift and twist. Exhale, elbow tap towards the floor. Replace the hand, step back to down facing dog. Right foot outside of right hand. Inhale to lift and twist. Exhale, elbow tap towards the floor. Replace the hand, step back to down facing dog. Walk the hands all the way to the back of the mat. Find your Uttanasana forward fold. Heel toe your feet up to the edges of the mat. Find your squat stance. Inhale to lift all the way up, and then this time we're going to do five air squats. So you're going to squat down and up in your own pace. Hands can go above your head or out in front of you. One more. And then come all the way down to the bottom. Place the hands on the floor. Heel toe the feet back underneath the hips. Walk the hands all the way to the front of the mat. Find your plank position, and we'll take another vinyasa. So exhale, low plank. Inhale up to cobra, exhale push back to down facing dog. One more time, so left foot outside of left hand, inhale to lift and twist, exhale elbow to the floor, replace the hand, step back to down facing dog. Left, uh, right foot outside of right hand, inhale to lift and twist, 
Exhale, elbow tap towards the floor. Replace the hand, step back to down facing dog. Walk the hands all the way to the back of the mat. Find your Uttanasana for a fold. Heel toe the feet out towards the edges of the mat. Find your um, squat stance. Inhale as you lift all the way up, palms together at the top. Exhale as you come down into the bottom of your squat. This time, left hand to the floor. Inhale to lift and twist with the right hand to the ceiling. Exhale, release. Right hand to the floor. Inhale to lift and twist with the left hand towards the ceiling. We're just going to do that two more times. Moving with your own breath in your own time. Opening up those hips. Replace the hands to the floor. Heel toe the feet back underneath the uh, hips. And then walk the hands all the way to the front of the mat. Find your plank position. You'll take your final vinyasa. So exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale to press up to cobra. Exhale, tap the toes and press back to down facing dog. From here, walk the feet all the way towards the front of the mat. Find your Uttanasana for a fold. Draw your chest over your thighs. Take that ragdoll variation for one last time. Enjoy a few deep breaths, stretching out that lower back, your hips, your glutes and hamstrings. And then whenever you're ready, inhale as you come all the way up, extend the Tadasana. Exhale, release, shake everything out, and we'll begin. So I'm going to set my um, timer up to the side here. Hopefully it's not going to run out of battery <laughs> halfway through this. And you'll hear it count you in. I'll demonstrate the first movement. So the first movement, we're going to walk, uh, work for 20 seconds and then hold in whichever position. And I'll demonstrate them in a moment of your choice for the final 10. So we're going to come down into a plank position and we're simply going to do regular mountain climbers, bringing the knees through and then option to hold in a regular or kneeling plank, a planching plank, level two, a low plank, level three, or level four, you can do press ups for those final 10 seconds. So a little bit of strength. So I'm gonna press play. You're gonna have a 10 second count in, and you should hear it count you in. Help if I turn it on. Sorry, let's restart. <laughs> Option you've opted for. 
If you want to try and stand those single leg pistols up, you're more than welcome. You have 15 seconds left of work. 10 seconds to go, work all the way to the end. And in five, four, three, two, one, relax. The next movement is a core movement. So we're coming down onto our backs. Option one, dead bugs. Simply alternating from side to side and then the 10 second hold at the top. Option two, you've got regular tuck crunches and then a hold in that tuck position. Option three, alternating V ups and then a hold in that hollow position. Pick your progression and work all the way to the end for 20 seconds, sorry, and then we've got a 10 second hold. So whichever variation you could be doing, those V ups, alternating V ups, tuck crunches, or regular dead bugs. In three, two, one, hold. So picking that hold at the top of that dead bug or that hollow position and relax. Next movement, we're gonna flip onto our front and work our back core. Option one, a locust lift with a 10 second hold at the end. You can option to catch, practice the arms out and then come back down so you're lifting and lowering. Option two, alternating bows. And option three, for regular bows. So pick your progression, and then we're holding for 10 seconds at the end. So work, alternating from side to side. If you're alternating, you have 10 seconds left of work. So you're either doing those locust lifts, inhaling to lift, exhaling to lower. And in three, two, one, pick your hold, and hold there for 10, nine, oh sorry, five, four, three, two, one, relax. Final movement is an inchworm to a jump and catching chair. So you're gonna walk the hands all the way to the front of the mat, find your plank position, walk the hands all the way back, jump, and then stick in chair pose. Reset and repeat. You should be able to get three to four of these in one go. So set yourself up at the back of your mat, and when you're ready, walk those hands out all the way to the front of the mat. Find that plank, brace that core, jump, catching chair. Reset and repeat. See how many you can get in. If you're keeping count of your reps, see if you can keep that pace next round. You're over halfway, 10 seconds left of work, so time for one or two more. Keep going all the way to the end. And in three, two, one, relax. <laughs> well done guys, you've got a minute's worth of rest, so grab some water, rehydrate, catch your breath, and we'll reset. I don't know what's going on with my speaker today. It's a shame it's not, let me double check that it's not this Spotify that's, that would be why, sorry. Let me take it off the why you've got your rest. <laughs> Let me take it off the Wi-Fi and then it should work. Wi-Fi off, right. And then you should be able to hear it through here. So you have 20 seconds left of rest. I'll just pop this one back on now that it's stopped confusing itself. Technology's great when it works, eh? <laughs> and we'll begin. So we're back to those mountain climbers. So set yourself up in that plank position, and hopefully you should hear it this time, you're going to start working, bringing those knees through to the front of the mat, nice and quickly. All the way for those first 20 seconds. You have 10 seconds left of work. And then in five, four, three, two, one. You've got that either regular plank hold, that low plank hold, or you can go for those press ups for the last 10 seconds. Pick your progression, and in three, two, yes. one, relax. We're flipping ourselves back round onto our seated positions, and you're either going for those alternating single leg raises, double leg raise, alternating single leg boats, or double boats. So keep squeezing those knees in. It's 30 seconds of work. No hold at the end of this one, and in five, four, three, two, 
One, begin. So 30 seconds of work. Try and think about keeping nice and upright. So using those lower abs and the upper abs together and also that core, a core compression area. So your quads at the top and your hip flexors. You're halfway there. So whichever movement you picked, keep going. Try and match those same number of reps that you've done in the first half if you can. And in five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Coming back up onto your feet. You've either got those chair pulses, those regular air squats coming all the way down, or those curtsy lunges, tapping the knee behind, or coming down to the floor and doing those alternating single leg pistol lifts. So pick your progression. You're moving all the way through for your third second and begin. So pick whichever progression. You could alternate through the movements each round, try a different one out. Just keep moving for those 30 seconds. 10 seconds down, 20 to go. You are halfway there now. So keep moving all the way to the end. Nice work, good depth, really good. And in five, four, three, two, one. Coming back down to the floor, we're back to our core. 20 seconds of work this time, either alternating dead bugs, Alternating uh, tap crunches, alternating V sits or full V sits, and then we're all going to hold in that hollow position. So you can bring the knees in or extend the legs out. For this one, we're going to hold in that hollow. So set yourself up and go. So it's 20 seconds of work this time and a 10 second hold. So you're nearly, you're halfway there now in terms of work, so 10 seconds left of movement, picking your progression, engaging that core, and in three, two, one, we're gonna go for that hollow hold. So option to keep the knees in, extend the legs out, level three, take the arms above the head, take your shoulders off the floor, and relax. Coming back up and flipping yourself around, we're onto our fronts, and we're back to either those locust lifts, with a cactus arm if you wish, or alternating bows, lifting from side to side, and of course, the full bow. Then you're holding in whichever variation for 10 seconds at the end. So set yourself up, inhaling to lift, exhaling to lower. Pick your option. You've got 10 seconds left of movement. <coughs> And in five, four, three, two, one. Set yourself up in that hold. Maybe go for that arch hold. If you are feet together, reaching out long. Three, two, one. And relax. Flipping yourself now back up onto your hands and feet. Coming to the back of the mat. You will begin with your inchworms all the way out to plank. Walking the hands all the way back. Jump and catching chair. Try and really stick that chair. Reset and then go again. See how many you can get. Set yourself up at the back of the mat and in five, four, and begin. So walking all the way out to the front of that mat, find that plank, brace that core, walk the hands back, jump, catching chair. The faster you go, the harder that chair is to study. Challenge yourself. How many can you get in? Nice work, you're over halfway there. 10 seconds left on the clock. And in five, four, three, two, one. Well done, rest. Grab some water, catch your breath. You have a minute's worth of rest. And one more round to go. And all the technology's working this time, so we don't have to battle that in the middle. So well done. If you're keeping count of your reps, see if you can keep those rep paces up, or you could try and challenge yourself and really push it for this final round, seeing as you've just got one more round to go. Um, and we're back to the front of the mat, or sorry, into those mountain climbers for that first movement. So you've got 30 seconds left of rest to go. Enjoy it, and then we're gonna work really hard for this final round. So 20 seconds left, we're gonna come down onto our hands and knees. Remember, you've got those regular mountain climbers and then your plank variation hold or 
press ups of your choice. So set yourself up, you have seven seconds of breath left, and when you're ready, in four, three, two, one, bring those knees through to the front of the mat, nice and tight, nice and quick, sending the legs all the way back. You've got ten more seconds left of work, and then in five, four, three, two, one, find that plank position, or no plank, hovering off the floor, or press up, chest the floor, each rep. And relax, next one, come around onto your hands, onto your bums, take the legs straight out in front of you, option, single leg raises, double leg raises, tuck boat, sorry, single leg tucks to boats, or double leg tucks to boats. Squeezing those knees in. So set yourself up. And in three, two, one. Try and keep nice and tight in that core. Try and keep nice and upright. You can use your hands if you want to on the floor to steady yourself. Just keep working all the way to the end. There is no hold. So you are halfway now. See if you can keep tap, track of those movements, reps and see if you can beat the number in the second half. You have five seconds left of work. And in three, two, one, rest. We're back to those squats, so regular chair pulses, air squats, curtsy lunges, or those single leg pistol lifts. So pick your progression, lifting, alternating each side, maybe even trying to stand all the way up if you can. Set yourself up and in three, two, one, begin. Really good guys. Those single leg pistol squat lifts are super hard. The trick is to keep the heel right in, lean as far forwards and then stand all the way up, lifting that leg out. You're over halfway there so keep moving all the way to the end. Nice work. I'm loving the mix. <laughs> Really good idea. Keep those legs moving and relax. Coming back down onto your bums. You're either going for those dead books, chest and hips off the floor, or tuck crunches, alternating V ups, or regular V ups. Pick your progression and then a 10 second hollow hold to finish at the end. So in three, two, one, pick whichever option you're going for. Really nice work, guys. You've all gone for a harder option, which is fantastic. Nice work. Keep moving all the way to the end. You have five seconds left of movement. And in three, two, one, come down into that hollow hold. So option to do that regular tuck hold. You could extend one leg, extend the other leg. We'll go for that hold. Rest. Really rest, sorry. So come back in, onto your hands and knees, flip yourself around, and we're back to that back core. So your either option is locust lifts with that cactus reach, coming back down, alternating half bows, or going for that full bow lift. So pick your progressions, and in three, two, one. Oh. Going to inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Oh, <laughs> I'm doing a hybrid version. <laughs> so picking whichever works for you. And then in five, sorry, in five seconds time, we're going to find that arch hold. So inhale to lift and then hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax, coming back to the back of the mat. Finding yourself in that standing position for the final movement, we're going for those plank walkouts with the jump and catching chair. So set yourself up. You have 14 seconds left of rest. Catch your breath, and then we're going to go hard for this last one. So aim for three to four minimum, and in three, two, one. Walking those hands all the way to the front of the mat. Find that plank position. Walk the hands all the way back. Jump, catching chair. Reset and go to the front of the mat again, come all the way back, jump, catch in chair. 
We're coming up to halfway now. So see if you can do one or two more. Keep moving all the way to the end. And relax. Well done. Well done, guys. Catch your breath, grab some water, and we'll have a quick cool down to finish. So once you've had a chance to take a sip of water, join me at the back of the mat in a kneeling position and then reach the hands forwards and come down into your child, extended child's pose. If you want to take a wide leg variation, you can. Take your forehead to the floor and whenever you're ready, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, just take three deep breaths. Drawing that breath deep down into the stomach, feeling the expansion across the upper back as you inhale. Exhale and let everything go. Try and calm that heart rate down, try and calm your breathing down. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly come up onto your hands and knees. You're going to take left foot outside of left hand, reach the heart forward to pull back into the hip, feel that stretch down the back of the leg, take a nice deep breath all the way in, exhale, one more deep breath all the way in again, exhale, switching sides now, right foot comes outside of right hand, into that half kneeling lunge, reach the heart forward to pull back into the hip, take a nice deep breath all the way in, Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in again. Exhale. Coming now onto our back, so flipping yourself around into a seated position first and then rolling down onto your back. We're going to finish with a few window wipers. So bring the knees in towards the chest, just rock from side to side, enjoy that gentle massage and then take the hands out wide in a T-shaped position, palms facing down. Glue those shoulders to the floor. Take the toes to the floor, keep the heels lifted, and then just drop the knees from side to side, releasing off that lower back, unraveling the spine, opening up the chest and the shoulders. One more each side, and then gently bring the knees back towards the center of your chest, hug them in tight, take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then slowly make your way all the way up to seated, and we'll finish in a seated position. As we take a deep inhale, lift the hands up above the head, palms together at the top. As you exhale, bringing the hands to the forehead, kind thoughts to the lips, kind words to the heart, kind feelings. Namaste.